I love to bling, right? I love anything shiny. So this is like my everyday jewelry, I wear it. I would say that mm, total worth is probably about 30,000. I used to dance, so that's what I'm known for, being like a crazy pole performer. This is really like a one-time thing. When it's your birthday, you have a party, and all of the girls in the club celebrate you. So every single girl in the club is gonna get up on stage for me tonight, and all of the money that gets tipped to them goes to me. Hello, Gift. Tonight. Happy birthday! <laughs> You know, girls like gifts now. Hold yes, on. come on. Girls like gifts for me and Marcus, child. My birthday is like the the holiday of my life. Happy birthday. I'm about to wear these tonight. I have a chef that's um, whipping up an amazing meal for us. And then we're going to go to Club Rain Atlanta. And it's going to be some rain, okay, because I'm going on stage. I'm having a birthday set. And this birthday set is going to be an amazing performance because I haven't blessed anyone's stage since my last dance. This is really like a one-time thing. When it's your birthday, you have a party, and all of the girls in the club celebrate you. So every single girl in the club is going to get up on stage for me tonight, and all of the money that gets tipped to them goes to me. My biggest investment is actually not financial. My biggest investment is myself. I'm like a superhero, you know? Like, all of the struggles that I've been through, not only does it make me stronger, but it makes me want to help others. I invest it into myself and this is what comes out of it. Now financially, I love to bling, right? I love anything shiny. Dangle something shiny in front of me and I'ma follow it like goddamn rabbit is following the carrot, okay? So this is like my everyday jewelry, I wear it. I would say that mm, total worth is probably about 30,000. Um, this Rolex watch was a gift on the first date from a guy that I only spoke to twice in my life. My bling obsession is real. I probably spent about 50000 or more. I like sequins, I like rhinestones, I like diamonds, I like shimmer, shine, bronzer, glitter, just all of it. Just big old puff of bling. I have friends that flew into town, and I have family members that are here, and everybody's going to come over. Yes, I'm excited. Great, let's do this, y'all. It's going to be like the old days. Remember when all the people came out for our parties? Mm -hmm. At Magic City, that was the bomb. Lip Service is the podcast that I host with Angela Yee. It's about sex and relationships. We interview celebrities. So I actually learned about OnlyFans during a lip service interview. So I was like... Where do I sign up at? My first couple of posts, and I put um, like cupcake emojis and like smiley face emojis like over my. I woke up in the morning and it was at like sixteen hundred something dollars. Um, I'm at about one hundred twenty thousand dollars a year. In the words of Beyonce, she might get it only fans, honey. I have actually been rehearsing. I have a whole routine in my head that I've been rehearsing. I have an outfit that I got made that I haven't even seen yet. Like whoever yeah. is in the building tonight is gonna see something that won't be come seen on, again. Come on, don't open your eyes until I, I tell you to open, okay? Come on, come on, come on. Open. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> what you think? <laughs> You probably yeah. heard something like One by one? Baby, how long does that take? Oh, way too long. It's not like a month. Oh my god. Yes, do you like it? I love them. Yes, and look, let me show you something special. You got a whole little detachable piece here. Okay. So you can get to it. Take that off and. So wait, how do we take it off? I appreciate you. Thank you. It's the detail, Carrie. Yes, it's the details for me. I feel better about myself now than I did then. Dance is always something that I've been deeply in love with. Like, I might cry tonight. Like, for real. I might cry. Hey, I can eat a nap. Hey. Hey.